this too. Well, it's the middle of the night. I guess it's about midnight. And I want to talk to you about something really special that just happened. I've been working on some music as usual. And it got late. And so I went outside just to check the weather and get a breath of fresh air. And suddenly this beauty descended on me that is just beyond understanding or explanation. <laughs> it's indescribable. The beauty of God But I will say this, <laughs> the Christians got it all wrong. It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Mother. The Holy Mother. God the Father, God the Mother, and God the Son is the devotee, the realized one. So, <laughs> you know, I've led a really far out life. <laughs> when my astrologer did my chart, he looked at me kind of funny and he said, you know, you have some very unusual methods. <laughs> he nailed me. He got me. Yeah, I, I got initiated into the so-called left-hand Tantra path way back in 1977, 78, in Kashmir, before the trouble got real bad up there. And I was able to complete my practice, even though I couldn't find a partner who was actually qualified. Somehow or other, I managed to complete the practice. And no, I'm not going to tell you about it. <laughs> but in 1984, then I got the realization of Kundalini rising spontaneously, effortlessly, painlessly, and such beauty, such beauty, <laughs> you can't imagine. No, I'm not high. I haven't been smoking anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm high, but I'm not high on any substance. I'm high on the energy of the night, the silence, the stillness. And you see, where I'm at now, God is really my father, Arunachala, and really my mother, Goddess Durga. And I'm complete. I'm totally fulfilled. I'm totally happy. You know, they set me up. <clears throat> they absolutely set me up in this lifetime. You know, I used to complain a lot about, oh, I got Saturn retrograde in the fifth house. And nobody loves me. Boo hoo. <laughs> but they love me. And their love is so much beyond anything. Again, it defies description, it defies understanding. You know? So now, now, when most people are struggling to cling to the body and life and all their possessions and their stuff and their hobbies and whatever, 
I'm like happily letting it all go. Yeah, I still dabble with music and stuff, you know, but it's not a passion like it used to be. And I'm completely comfortable in my body. <laughs> Even at this age. So, why is that or how is that? It's because I'm fulfilled from within. See? You know, I talk tough a lot of times and I chastise people <clears throat> and I criticize people and they don't like it. I play the bad guru, you know. I don't tolerate fools very well. <laughs> and the reason I don't is actually out of compassion. Because I'm trying to get them to do the sadhana. To get them to do the study that leads to this place where I am now. Yeah, it takes a long time. Stop looking for a shortcut. There isn't any. You're just going to get cheated. Do the sadhana, just like it says in the books. You know, I would be very happy doing every morning a video on one of the names in Lalita Sahasranam. You know, it would probably take me the rest of my life to complete it. I don't care. But people wouldn't watch it. They wouldn't watch it because it's part of the scriptures. They don't realize what I'm bringing to the table is my experience, my insight, my consciousness, my realization. And I'm describing these names with great love. See, my bhakti. I love my mother. I love all my mothers. <laughs> the cow, the Ganges, uh, the river, the rain. And I love my fathers, Arunachala, the Himalayas, the sun. You know, I love them in every form in which they manifest. And guess what? They return that love. See, I understand everything now. <laughs> when I was in ISKCON, I thought, and everybody thought, that we were devotees of Krishna, right? No, no, no. We were really worshiping Radha. Radha, who is Narayani. Narayani is a form of the mother. Mahalakshmi. Maha Saraswati. Maha Durga. Maha Kali. These are all forms of the mother, you know? And the first time I went to a Krishna temple, I came a few minutes early for the evening service. And they were having Tulasi Puja. Tulasi is a plant. Here's a picture of her. She's a beautiful plant. And... <laughs> She's hermaphroditic. All Tulasi plants are female and they reproduce by entwining their roots together and fertilizing each other's blossoms <laughs> by hermaphroditic parthenogenesis. <laughs> so they're like lesbians who can get each other pregnant. <laughs> But anyway, you know, the Vedas are wild. Read Mahabharata. Goes into the family history of the Pandavas and like that. And it's so kinky. You know, none of them had a standard regular family life. Or their origin, their birth, 
their conception. It was all wild. Right? But Orthodox people, Hindus and whoever, think that, you know, the only way is to be married and like that. Well, that's okay for them. But, you know, a liberated person is always free. And it's good to get used to that early in life. Because why? It is the agency, the power over your own life that gives you the scope of will necessary to reach the energy levels to attain actual realization. You know, I think I told that story about getting taken up in the hand of God hundreds of miles up in the sky and looking down at the world and it was a big ocean. And then he told me, every drop in that ocean is a living being. And then the hand started to turn towards the face of God. And I looked into the face of God. And yeah, it's indescribable. <laughs> but not long after that, I was on the island of Guam. And Guam got hit by a typhoon. Not a real bad one, but you know, pretty good one, 110 knot winds or something like that. What did I do? I went to the beach. <laughs> I went to the beach around sunset. The wind was blowing like crazy and the waves were huge, right? And it was raining so hard, you couldn't find the surface of the water. It was just foam. And I went body surfing. <laughs> That's how much energy I had. This was just after the Kundalini experience and realization of Brahman and all of that. So you see, you know, you have to be able to be wild because God is wild. Goddess is wild. And if we're really their son, their child, son or daughter, and we have to be wild. Huh? Even though, you know, I love the scriptures. There's so much value, so much nectar, so much knowledge in the scriptures. The scriptures are what made me what I am. And my gurus who advised me to study them. And I did study them not only study them, but practice them. Yeah, yeah, there's some boring old book and you have to figure out what's legend and what's tradition and what's the really valuable part. Yeah, you have to do that. You have to do that work. Only you can do that work. I can advise, I can give a few examples, but I can't do that for you. I can't teach you how to think for yourself. Nobody can. So use the scriptures as a way to train yourself to think for yourself and determine what's useful and, and what's just fluff. Because there's a lot of fluff in the scriptures. And it's there to attract the minds of less intelligent people. But there's also nuggets of golden wisdom, jewels of insight in the scriptures. So you have to be able to find them. Just like if you go mining gold, huh? for every ounce of gold, you have to bring out a thousand pounds of rock, you know? It's the same with the scriptures. So take the time, do the work, read the scriptures, do the sadhana, and maybe if you're really good and really sharp, in 50 years, you'll get realization. Yeah, that's how long it takes. 
It has to take that long because we're so conditioned. We're so ignorant. We're so stupid. Huh? We're stupid. If you start from that point of view, take a humble position. Don't get involved with any big organization. Or if you do, make sure you stay on the bottom. Don't accept any position. Don't accept any title. Huh? And gradually, over a long time, 40, 50 years, you'll start to get the result. And one day, the beauty of the silence will just drop out of the sky on you, just the way it did to me tonight. And you realize who and what you really are. Aum Tatsa. Aum Shakti Aum.